Um, can you believe it? I'm back. I'm doing another hair tutorial. Um, it's been probably like a year since I did one and part of the reason is just because I stopped braiding my hair so then I um, just wasn't posting as much. But if you haven't seen my braid tutorials, I have a ton of them. The quality isn't as good so I may like redo some of them that I still do. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be sharing with you my everyday curl um, hair tutorial. I have had a couple questions on this and um, I've kind of changed it a little bit since I cut my hair. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. I just um, worked out and I put some dry shampoo on my roots. One tip I have for helping your hair work after you work out is one, dry shampoo. Um, I love this Dove one. I'm a hairstylist. I've used so many different um, dry shampoos, and this is one of my favorites. I did just try one at work that I actually really like, too, so I'll share that with you guys when I get it. But, um, yeah, I love this one. So dry shampoo. And then sometimes, like, your hair gets those little kinks and stuff from being up in a ponytail. So sometimes what I'll do is grab the blow dryer and just kind of blow dry my roots to kind of, like, settle my hair down so that um, I like get out some of the kinks or whatever. I didn't have to do that today. I know it's like kind of messed up, but when I curl it, it'll help with that. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So um, what I use to curl my hair is this new me wand and it's the one inch. Um, but I also have my hot tools. Whoa, it's not gonna reach. My hot tools curling iron because my little front pieces that are a little shorter, I like to curl them with um, a regular curling iron. So that's what I have that for. So we are just going to go ahead and get started. I'll like instruct you through the first um, like bottom layer and then I'm probably just going to fast forward through this all and then the ending, like when I do the front and kind of finish up, um, I will show you guys that part. So anyways, I'm just going to start by pinning up my hair um, with a clip. And make sure your hair is brushed out just so it holds the curl good. If you do not have a wet brush, that's what this is. I like the round ones better, but I have this one right now. Um, but if you don't have one, you need one. They're the best thing ever. So I'm doing this in my living room because it's the best spot in my house. But, you know, normally I'd be doing this in the bathroom. Oh, and do you guys see I got my coffee? It's what I normally get ready with, so, you know props. I'm just kidding, but I might want some coffee while I'm curling my hair. Um, all right, so I'm going to take my wand. I am going to go around the back and I'm going to wrap my hair. I, I curl all my hair away from my face. Um, if you curl towards your face, you are going to get more of that retro look. Um, so I like the look of curling away from my face. Um, I leave the ends out so they're kind of straight. Then you end up with a curl like that. Same thing. You're going to wrap around the barrel, leave the ends out, let it sit for a few seconds, and undo it. Um, and then I go about three sections on this side, and then I'll do three on the other side, also away from my face. So I'll grab here, same thing, go down, wrap it around the barrel, I love this wand so much. Um, my friend Alina, if you guys don't follow her, Moda Prince got it for me for my birthday, or I think, for Christmas, no, birthday, and I love it so much. So anyways, we are going to do the same thing here. Grab the hair, wrap it around the wand, and leave the ends out, just like that. Uh. I missed this little one, so I'm going to grab it. I usually do my hair in about three sections. So, this is the first section. I'm going to go ahead and divide this out and clip it up. And then, again, make sure your hair is brushed out. I brushed it out before, I promise, but gym hair, you know. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and... Same thing. Um, I try to take like fairly small sections. I mean, I guess like medium sized, 
um, uh, because my hair is kind of thick so I just want to make sure I'm getting a good curl set in there because normally what I'll do is I'll actually curl my hair like this um, like all the way through on the first day and then the next like two three days I just touch up a few of the pieces like honestly today um, if I wasn't filming this tutorial I might not have recurled my whole hair I may have just done like a few pieces and then kind of rocked like a messy look um, but that's what I like. I don't like to do my hair a ton all the time, so I like to do it one day and then just kind of work with it for the rest of the time. Um, but yeah, this is how I do it. I wrap it around the wand, let it sit for a few seconds, leave the ends out, and always curl away from my face. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fast forward through the curling, and then I will show you guys um, what I do to finish it out. grab a mirror and check the back to make sure that I got everything um, and then now I'm gonna start kind of running my fingers through because I kind of like it to be loosened up a little so um, but as you can tell I left out my front pieces and the reason is this wand doesn't curl my front pieces the way I want they're shorter than they're supposed to be um, and so they just don't curl right with this um, size wand um, and actually, too, if you do have shorter hair, um, I have the wand that comes with three different barrels. So if you do have shorter hair, you may want to use a smaller barrel um, than the one inch. So it also comes with a three-quarter inch. Um, I literally think I might have burned my carpet. Hopefully not. Okay, so what I do for my front pieces is, I hope this is going to reach, but I use my Hot Tools one-inch curling iron, and I just grab the front and curl it real quick kind of annoying having to plug in two irons yes but um it just does what I want so I just do that to um touch up my curls oh my gosh you guys my video cut off and I had to delete so much stuff and it's so annoying I'm gonna try to be quickly wrap this up okay so we just curled the front pieces um, I was talking about how I love to put dry shampoo just in my hair so like this just to like it gives it some texture um, I also love to use a style cream I put a little bit in my hands and put it in my hair um, you can also use like a texture spray or something like that um, and you just kind of finger through your hair I like it to look like messy kind of beachy like it does um, and this is the finished product hopefully this video is not cutting out again right now as I'm speaking but anyways um this is my finished curl look this is how I do my hair most days and then I base all my styles around this um and on the like second and third days I just grab one of my irons touch up a few pieces and go with that so yeah that is my curl tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you again next time which I promise this time is going to be way sooner I think it's going to be with Ben next for a Q&A, so we'll see. Anyways, have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.